dopamine. Do you have a good base level of dopamine? A lot of us know this word, maybe not, but a lot of us have heard of dopamine. It's the happiness hormone. If we have a lot amount of dopamine levels in our system, we'll be more happy. We'll find life more satisfying. We'll have a positive mindset all the time. But the truth is that's not the case. A lot of us don't have this. So do you have a low baseline of dopamine? And if so, how can we increase it? I was very, very depressed. I went from the typical degenerate life, nine to five job, drugs, alcohol, a lot of alcohol, video games all the time, to changing my life. And I'm gonna reveal to you the secrets that I learned on my two year self-improvement journey, how you can increase your dopamine levels literally right after this video. So stick to the end. First things first, how are you? I hope you've been good, man, and I hope things have been all right. Getting straight into the video, dopamine. Dopamine is basically the happy hormone. It is the hormone in the, that the body produces that makes us feel good. And there have been scientific ways that proven to increase your dopamine levels. And I've gone through them over the years, and I'm going to show you the most natural way is that you can increase your dopamine just from these tiny little habits that you can make and implement throughout your day. Now, but why? Why would we want to increase our dopamine? You see, dopamine is a neurotransmitter of our brain that can help us literally lose weight, be more happy, improve your memory, find more life satisfaction out of life, reduce bad habits, build good habits, and have a mentally strong health. It can help your mental health. There are so many benefits, but to increase it, you need to understand how dopamine works. You see, our mind, our body, is constantly seeking pleasurable things to have a boost in our testosterone because it is the happy hormone. It is the hormone that the body produces that makes us feel good. So obviously our body and mind is gonna seek more of this, but then that's where the problem comes in. If it's looking for a constant way to pleasure, to have a quick boost in our dopamine, that's where we come to the problem known as instant gratification. Habits that have been proven to boost our, te our dopamine temporarily, but then make it worse in the long run. Habits such as video games, drugs, alcohol, junk food, all these typical bad habits have been proven to boost our to our dopamine yet ruin it in the long run so what are the natural habits we can do that can naturally increase our baseline of dopamine and keep it there not bring it up for a short moment and then bring it down in the long run such as alcohol drugs video games doom scrolling on social media all these typical bad habits how can we get our dopamine to stay up high how can we stay positive the first one is avoid sugar sugar has been proven that it messes with our dopamine system the brain's dopamine center sugar messes with it it tampers with it see sugar isn't bad obviously there's sugar in everything we can't get rid of sugar however exceedingly high amounts of sugar is bad for example adding sugar in your cereal cereal is already incredibly sugary you don't need to add sugar into it but yet people do. People add sugar on things that already have sugar. So what you need to do is just stop adding sugar on the things that you don't need. Sugar in coffee, sugar in tea. There's already a lot of sugar in it. If you don't just stop adding extra. The next one is your phone. Not only does your phone's radiation affect with your dopamine levels, such as we all know blue light, blue light stops us from being able to sleep well, but your phone's, the things that your phone has affects your dopamine levels we talked about some of the bad habits and doom scrolling on social media is one of them it gives you a short burst of dopamine when you find that funny reel but then after in the long run you don't feel good you feel like you've wasted time and you feel unproductive social media is a big big cause for our dopamine levels being skewed being absolutely messed up so <laughs> so mean <laughs> social media is a big reason to why Turn off your phone, go outside, get slightly more sunlight in your system. Trust me, this will help you. And that leads into my second one, sunlight. Go get some sunlight. 
It has been scientifically proven that more vitamin D has been proven to increase our dopamine permanently in the long run. As little as 30 minutes a day. As little as 30 minutes a week, it makes a difference. But 30 minutes a day is what you want to aim for. And don't go around taking like vitamin D supplements. They are good, yes, but to be honest, it's probably better just to go outside. Even when it's rainy, even when it's cloudy, if you can see the grass, if you can see the trees, if you can see outside, there is sunlight. Because sunlight allows you to be able to see outside. If it is pitch black night, then yeah, there isn't any sunlight. Or very little. But if you can see outside, it doesn't have to be golden rays of sunshine. If you can see outside, there is sunlight. Get some more sunlight in your system. It has been proven to increase your dopamine. And exercise. And I'm talking about the little, little tiny bits of exercise. The smallest amount of exercise has been proven to boost our dopamine permanently. Literally as little as a 30 minute, as little as a 30 second sprint. The smallest exercises have been proven to help boost our dopamine. Something that me and my friend do is that we do 25 push-ups in the morning every single morning. And 25 sit-ups. So do 20 push-ups the moment you get out of bed. The smallest exercises have been proven to boost our dopamine levels a lot. But imagine if you're going to the gym consistently. You're doing bigger exercises. And anyone who is going to the gym can guarantee for the fact that they feel better afterwards. Food. Make sure you're getting the right food into your system. I could go through the list right now of all the different foods that have been proven to give you a boost in dopamine. Like, I think it's bananas, chicken, coffee even. Like, there are so many things that have been proven to boost your dopamine. But to be honest, the most important thing that they all have in common instead of giving you a giant fat list, is processed foods. Processed foods from the supermarkets are stuff that's like, not really real, it's kind of been processed, manufactured, is unhealthy, and has been proven to have a significant downfall in not only your testosterone, but your dopamine. Buy foods that aren't processed. Stop buying all that junk food, all those snacks, because they're all processed and they have an effect on your dopamine. When you buy chicken, Go to the butchers. Cook food yourself. Buy single ingredient meals. And the best way to describe that is buy a meal, like food, that doesn't have an ingredients list. So when you go to the butchers and you buy chicken, there isn't an ingredients list on it. Because it's chicken. Just chickens. Or when you go to the supermarket and you buy carrots, and you buy potatoes, there isn't an ingredients list on there. You have to pick it up and put it in like a separate bag because it's just that it's just potato it's just carrots you can't can't like not have it not have like it's just that there is no ingredients list and all of those things i've just said is a meal chicken potatoes and carrots cook the chicken boil the carrots and boil the potatoes you've got a meal add a bit of salt bit of pepper done you have a meal the next one is sleep sleep is very very important and a lot of us do not get good sleep and I have a video that's going to pop up as a tag in one of these corners on how you can actually get a better sleep. But sleep isn't super, super important. And some things that I recommend is don't sleep with your phone. Make sure that all the overhead lights are off before you go to bed in the evening. And that you have dimly lit candles. It helps you sleep a lot. But I have a full video which I do recommend clicking because it can really help you with your sleep. Sleep is very, very important and has been scientifically proven that a good sleep has given you a big, big boost in dopamine, where you wake up energized. You haven't overslept, nor have you underslept. Sleep is very, very important, and it will a lot of us take it for granted. And the last one is a protein-rich diet. I have protein smoothies, where it's filled with like a bunch of veg, so a bunch of protein, a bunch of spirulina, spinach, broccoli. It's, it's basically my protein, um... And it's very, very, I notice a difference where I do have my protein and where I don't. Have a protein-rich diet. Protein is very, very important, both for your physical growth and both for your mental growth. Don't just eat salads. Make sure you're getting a good amount of protein in your system because protein has been proven to not only boost your physical, physical growth, but your dopamine growth. It will boost your dopamine levels. So when you're having a balanced diet, when you're not eating processed foods, make sure you're getting good protein in there as well. I hope this video helped you out, and man, I hope things have been good, I hope you've been alright. Within the next few weeks, I will be creating a community on the website known as School, 
And if you like me and you want more from me, there'll be personal coaching calls in there. There'll be a community where I can make videos off your requests. And I would be really appreciative if you look forward for that. I will be creating it within the next few weeks. I haven't got it up set up now. So for now, I would be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner. Because this video could help you out. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, come here. <laughs> Self-improvement kiss. Mwah.